Hi, my name is Alex Cummins, and my formal report is on the effect of coconut oil on health. Specialty health food stores have been selling coconut oil as a remedy for everything from toxins to obesity for a while now. It's gaining popularity and is now being sold in standard American grocery stores. Currently, less than 2% of the diet for Americans is made up of coconut oil. However, it's a staple in the foods and cultures of several Asian countries, as well as other countries around the world. My report goes into the details on some of the research that has been done on coconut oil. 94% of triglycerides in coconut oil are saturated fats. Consumption of saturated fats have been advised against since the 1980s. We all come to think of them as bad for you. Something to think about is coconut oil is also made up of 90% medium chain fatty acids. One of those fatty acids is lauric acid, a 12 carbon medium chain fatty acid. These differ from other saturated fats in the chain length. Most regular saturated fats that research has been done on to show that they're bad are long chain fatty acids. Medium chain fatty acids are more healthy or thought to be than normal long chain fatty acids because when digested, they are absorbed more like carbohydrates than fats. A short term study done at Liverpool Hope University looked at replacing cooking oil with coconut oil for four weeks. Over the course of the study, they found no improvement in health with coconut oil. This may not be looking good for people who want to improve their health. However, it's important to note that replacing coconut oil did not have any negative health outcomes. Another study looked at coconut oil in the long term. Over the course of two years, a study in India also replaced cooking oil with coconut oil and found that there were no negative health outcomes. While there were no positive health outcomes, from this study, we can conclude that it is safe to replace fats in the diet with coconut oil without any deleterious effects. This proves that the medium chain fatty acids in coconut oil are not like those saturated fatty acids we have come to think of as bad. Coconut oil as a frying medium, as the two studies have shown, when used as a replacement for cooking oil, there were no negative health outcomes. But similar to all other cooking oils, coconut oil should not be repeatedly heated. A study done that repeatedly heated coconut oil and compared it to repeatedly heated other cooking oils found that carcinogens formed during this heating process and those carcinogens were linked to cancer. One of the claims going on in the health coconut, the coconut health oil fad is that it improves weight management and can help you lose weight. Several studies looked at coconut oil in decreasing weight in obese men and women, and there were several studies that looked at coconut oil and weight management in mice. What they found in the human studies was that supplementation of coconut oil, usually a small dose in the mornings, decreased overall energy increase intake, which decreased waist circumference and increased satiety, which is the need to feel full or the need for, for hunger. So taking coconut oil early in the day can help you feel the need to consume less. When combined with exercise, a study in mice found that coconut oil decreased oxidative stress as well as improved the mice's cardiovascular fitness. Overall, my recommendation is, as always, moderation and variety when it comes to a diet. Consuming small amounts of coconut oil as part of your regular routine could be very beneficial for long-term weight management. And as always, combining with exercise improves overall health and as shown, can drastically improve health uh, when combined with coconut oil. So consume coconut oil in moderation and include it in the variety of fats that you consume.